ancient city, once the capital of Japan, is a melting pot of history and culture, a place where tradition intertwines seamlessly with the vibrancy of modern life. In this video, we'll journey through Kyoto's top attractions, discover the best times to visit, unravel handy travel tips, and delve into authentic cultural experiences. And yes, we'll also guide you through the city's shopping scenes. So buckle up. Prepare to immerse yourself in a city where tradition meets modernity. When is the ideal time to explore Kyoto? Kyoto, a city that blends tradition and modernity, is a sight to behold all year round. However, the spring and fall seasons are particularly enchanting. Spring, stretching from March to May, sees Kyoto bathed in a sea of pink as cherry blossoms, or sakura, burst into bloom. The city turns into a living watercolor painting, with petal-laden branches arching over canals and dotting ancient temples. Come fall, from October to November, the city dons a different, yet equally captivating, color palette. Autumn leaves, Koyo, set the city ablaze with hues of red, orange and gold. The mild weather during these seasons makes for comfortable exploration, allowing you to soak in the city's beauty at your own pace. Whether it's the soft blush of cherry blossoms or the fiery display of autumn leaves, each season paints a unique picture of Kyoto. So, remember, the beauty of Kyoto is always in season. Ready to discover the must-see spots in Kyoto? Let's start with Kinkaku-ji, also known as the Golden Pavilion. This Zen Buddhist temple is truly a sight to behold, with its top two floors covered in brilliant gold leaf. The temple's beautiful architecture is reflected in the mirror pond, creating a stunning, almost surreal scene. Built in the late 14th century, Kinkakuji is not just a piece of art, but a symbol of the country's historical and cultural heritage. Next on our list is Fushimi Inari Taisha. This shrine is famous for its thousands of vermilion tori gates, which create a path up the mountain behind the main building. These gates are donations from individuals and companies, a testament to the deep spiritual significance of the shrine. If you're up for a hike, the trail through the gates is a journey worth taking. Then, immerse yourself in the enchanting atmosphere of the Arashiyama bamboo grove. Walking through this dense bamboo forest feels like stepping into another world, with the tall, slender bamboo stalks reaching up to the sky. Nearby, you'll find other attractions such as the Iwatayama Monkey Park, home to over a hundred free-roaming monkeys, and the Togetsukyo Bridge, known for its beautiful views of the river and mountains. Don't miss Kiyomizudera, a temple that offers breathtaking panoramic views of Kyoto from its wooden terrace. This temple is a marvel of architecture, built without the use of nails. Its cultural importance is reflected in its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's particularly popular during the cherry blossom and autumn foliage seasons. Finally, take a stroll through the historic Gion District. This area is known for its traditional wooden machia houses, which line the narrow streets. Gion is the heart of Kyoto's geisha culture. Here you might catch a glimpse of Geiko and Maiko, apprentice geisha, in their exquisite kimonos. The district is a living museum, offering a window into Japan's past. These iconic sites offer a unique glimpse into Kyoto's rich history and culture. Now that you know where to go, how do you get around Kyoto? Let's dive into some handy travel tips and guidance to make your journey smooth and enjoyable. Kyoto, the city of 10,000 shrines, is also a city of impeccable public transportation. Buses are a common way to get around with extensive routes covering the city. Each ride is a flat fee, making it easy to budget your transportation costs. Don't worry about the language barrier. Most buses have announcements in English for major stops. Trains, on the other hand, are a fantastic way to travel longer distances swiftly. Kyoto's train system is efficient and punctual, connecting you to all corners of the city. The Karasuma Line, for instance, runs north to south, while the Tozai Line runs east to west. These lines intersect at Kyoto Station, the city's transportation hub, 
To make your commute even easier, consider purchasing a Kyoto Travel Pass. This pass offers unlimited travel on city buses and trains, making it a cost-effective choice for those planning to visit multiple attractions in a day. Plus, it saves you the hassle of buying individual tickets each time. While this all sounds straightforward, remember, Kyoto is a city steeped in tradition and that extends to its sacred spaces. When visiting temples and shrines, it's crucial to behave respectfully, keep your voice down, don't take photos where it's prohibited, and follow the local customs like washing your hands at the purification fountain before entering a shrine. Another tip to keep in mind is footwear. Kyoto is a city best explored on foot, whether you're strolling along the Philosopher's Path, hiking up Mount Inari, or simply wandering through Jion's narrow alleyways, you'll want to be wearing comfortable shoes. So pack your favorite pair of walking shoes or trainers to ensure you can enjoy your exploration without any discomfort. You might also want to consider carrying a reusable water bottle. Kyoto can get quite warm during the day, especially in the summer months, and staying hydrated is key. Plus, it's an eco-friendly choice that aligns with Japan's focus on sustainability. And of course, it's always good to have some cash on hand. While credit cards are widely accepted in Kyoto, smaller establishments, particularly in more traditional areas, may only accept cash. Plus, you'll need coins if you want to make offerings at temples and shrines. Finally, keep in mind that Japanese people are incredibly polite and helpful. Don't hesitate to ask if you need directions or assistance. Most will go out of their way to help, even if there's a language barrier. A simple arigatou or thank you can go a long way. With these tips, navigating Kyoto should be a breeze. Enjoy your journey through this enchanting city and let its ancient beauty and modern charm captivate your heart. Embracing Kyoto's culture is a must-do. Kyoto is a city steeped in tradition and history and it's impossible to fully appreciate its charm without immersing yourself in its cultural practices. One of the most serene ways to do this is by participating in a traditional tea ceremony. Originating in the 9th century, these intricate rituals encapsulate the principles of harmony, respect, purity and tranquility. As you watch the tea master meticulously prepare and serve matcha, a powdered green tea, you'll gain a deeper understanding of this age-old Japanese art form. Then, there's the culinary delight that is kaseki cuisine. Considered the epitome of Japanese fine dining, a kaseki meal is a multi-course feast that not only tantalizes your taste buds, but also appeals to your aesthetic senses. Each dish, carefully crafted to reflect the season's bounty, is a testament to the chef's attention to detail and the Japanese philosophy of appreciating the beauty of nature. And let's not forget the thrill of donning a traditional kimono. As you wrap yourself in the colorful silk garment and walk through Kyoto's historic districts, you'll feel as though you've stepped back in time. It's a unique opportunity to experience firsthand the elegance and grace of Japan's past. These cultural experiences will surely enrich your Kyoto journey. They offer a window into the city's soul, helping you to connect with the heartbeat of Kyoto in a way that sightseeing alone simply cannot achieve. So give them a try. You won't regret it. Ready to shop till you drop in Kyoto? Now that we've explored the sights and sounds of this historic city, it's time to dive into the bustling shopping streets. Head over to Teramachi and Shinkyogoku, two of Kyoto's most popular shopping districts. Here you'll find everything from high-end fashion to vintage antiques, all brimming with local charm. And what's a trip without souvenirs? Kyoto offers a treasure trove of unique keepsakes. Look out for traditional crafts from delicate silk fans to intricate lacquerware. These make for perfect mementos or gifts to take back home. For the foodies among us, don't miss out on the matcha-related products. Kyoto is famous for its matcha, and you can find everything from matcha tea to matcha-flavored sweets. Finally, consider picking up a yukata or kimono. Not only do these traditional garments make for a striking souvenir, but they're also a piece of Japanese culture you can wear. Don't forget to bring a piece of Kyoto home with you. 
As we come to the end of our Kyoto adventure, let's reminisce about the cherry blossoms, the golden pavilion, and the enchanting bamboo grove. Remember the spiritual journey through the red Torii gates and the panoramic views from Kiyomizu Dera. We've walked through historic districts, tasted traditional kaiseki cuisine, and navigated the city like locals. Kyoto is a trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to share your favorite Kyoto experiences in the comments below and subscribe for more travel content.